Hey, what's going on guys? Mark here, aka Punnett Crush Bash, and today we got ourselves a new Rising Star, Shefter Star, whatever you want to call Blake Bortles. This is the second Jagged player in a row that's actually got a Shefter Star program card. And we're going to check and look at his stats. I actually did his uh, set for about 6k. You can actually complete this Blake Bortles if you're lucky for 4k. If you know how to, if you just wait on the auction house just for a little bit. Don't know why he's not going for a lot, and maybe his stats might explain it. 78 speed, 81 awareness, 93 throw power, 89 throw accuracy short, throw accuracy mid is an 86, throw accuracy deep is a 79, play action 81, throw on the run is an 86, let's compare it to my starting quarterback, which is Johnny Football, Johnny Manziel, Manziel's a lot faster, has less awareness, Blake Bortles has the better awareness, same throw power, th Johnny has better throw accuracy short, Blake Bortles has better uh, throw accuracy mid, it looks like, throw accuracy deep goes to Johnny, Blake Bortles has better play action, and Johnny Manziel, of course, has that great throw on the run because one lucky play gets you. you don't, let's not go into that. But we also today have uh, new Football Outsiders. So I'm a little bit late with this video. I think I'm one day late with the Chef to Star. But Football Outsiders did come out today. So I want to take a look at these guys. And I know we actually have uh, new legends actually were announced. Um, it's a fullback for the san diego chargers congrats Vic. you got a freaking fullback uh legend <laughs> lorenzo neal is his name i yeah i'm pretty sure it's lorenzo neal by the way football outsider 24 hour draw casey <laughs> first guy i see on here that's a new football outsider is this uh what's his name Kale Ka khaled holmes Ka whatever khaled holmes for the indianapolis colts take a look at some of the important stats he's got 91 strength 86 run block and 92 pass block 88 impact blocking my type Oh, wow. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, indeed. <laughs> okay, so comparing him to Travis Frederick, Frederick's got better awareness and better run blocking, which is primarily what I use him for, so I'll probably keep him around, and better impact blocking. But if you're looking for a speed center who's going to keep up and can, you know, stay with the blocks, you're going to want this Khalid Holmes. Plus, he's got some nice pass blocking, so it just depends on what your scheme is, how you run it. All that. The next football outsider on the list is Quentin Rollins, the 84 overall cornerback for the Green Bay Packers. Shout out to Kid a Gamer. 89 speed, 93 acceleration, 90 agility, 85 man coverage, 89 zone, 88 press, 82 play rec, and 82 catching. So not too bad. Let's compare him to my cornerbacks currently. We got Richard Sherman. Okay, so Sherman's just got better coverage stats, only by a little bit from what it looks like. Um, oh, this guy is fast. 89 speed. Malcolm Butler's just got better, uh, you know, coverage stats. Comparing him to the best corner I have on my team, pretty much, is Orlando Scandrel. Orlando Scandrick. Uh, oh, wow. Okay, so Quentin Rollins pretty much beats out Scandrick in every category. But they are the same speed, and Quentin Rollins is just one inch taller. So he's at 5'11", so a little cornerback, not too bad. Hey, 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 I did not notice this. All right, so a giant got a card this week. Shane Vereen, 85 overall halfback, with 90 speed, 95 agility, 93 acceleration, 91 carrying, 90 ball carry vision, 93 elusiveness, 60 truck move, and 92 juke move. Okay, so that's not too bad. He's got 91 catching. This Shane Vereen is a boss. I want to compare him to my Le'Veon Bell real quick, quick and Carlos Hyde. Comparing him to Le'Veon Bell, he's faster. Better agility, better acceleration, so that's good. But Le'Veon Bell's got better carrying, ball carrier vision, elusiveness, only by a little bit. Better trucking, of course, and just a little bit of juke move. So, honestly, Shane Vereen is probably the cheaper option. Compare him to Carlos Hyde, well, again, Shane Vereen's the better option. So that's actually pretty nice to see that Shane Vereen got a card. And I think there is one more um, football outsider, and this is Julian Edelman. I'm actually going to go to the next one because, yeah. And then we got a draw a case right there. Julian Edelman taking a look at his stats. 88 speed, 94 catching, 90 elusiveness, 89 spectacular catch, 80, re 80 release, 91 route running, 95 catch of traffic, and 85 jumping. All right, I want to check a, take a look, compare him to some of my current receivers. Uh, compare him to the Allen Hearns. See, I don't got that many good receivers, so I might have to give him a pickup, maybe. Uh, okay, so yeah, this Julian Edelman could definitely be a starter on your team if you got about 90K to throw around 80K going for. I would probably wait since he's just came out today. He's Of course, these guys are going to go for a lot. Taking a look at this draw, Casey. This is going to be interesting. He's a right end this year, but you can put him at D-tackle because he technically is a D-tackle. He's got 74 speed, 95 strength, 88, 84 acceleration, 93 tackling, 93 block shit, 96 power move, 74 finesse move, 85 play rec. I also want to check out what his hit power is because this draw, Casey, is actually pretty nice. I might actually... If his price is right... I mean, I could probably pick him up. <laughs> I really want to. We've got 92 hit power, so definitely, if you need a good run stopper, this Joel Casey is a great pickup for your team. 
And last thing, guys, if you have $20... Don't you actually... What am I helping saying? Don't buy this bundle. I don't care if it's twenty dollars. It ain't worth it. You get a five BCA pack bundle contains five BCA packs, and one bundle topper that gives four BCA item pulls, a badge, or a player. You, let's be honest here. You're getting you're getting four badges. Okay, you're not going to get a player, and you're probably going to get five badges out of the packs. Do not spend twenty dollars on this. I do not recommend it. If you want to spend twenty dollars for a good reason and actually getting good players out of it, here you go. That right there. 15 Pro Pack Bundle. Okay? There you go. Don't buy these packs. Hopefully this is the last time we see these BCA packs. I don't want to see them anymore. The horrible. You know, they don't give anything good out of it. If anything, we're probably going to see the next packs up. Probably be Halloween packs. That I know will cost coins. So, hey, for those who don't want to spend money, Halloween would probably be the next best promo. And that promo, you can easily make coins off of. If, if it goes how it is last year... A lot of people, if they invest right, could possibly make hundreds of thousands, if not millions of coins, just depending on how they invest it. I know Vic, his idea, I'm pretty sure he can make some. But thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, go and hit that like button. If you want to see more content on the channel, go and hit that subscribe button. I'm Mark, Mark aka Plenty Crash Bash. I will see you guys in the next video. Take it easy, y'all. Peace.